Craig, no team had a more eventful summer than the Calgary Flames. They lose Johnny Gaudreau. They're forced to trade Matthew Kachuk. But then Brad Trey Living pulls a rabbit out of his hat, makes some great trades. And the one big question for the Flames is, is this team actually better than last year's? No in the regular season. They're coming off a 50-win season. Pretty impressive. But yes, come playoff time. You know, they're going to be better defensively. We know that. The addition of Mackenzie Weger, second-team all-star Jacob Markstrom, who really floundered versus the Edmonton Oilers. I can't expect that to happen come playoff time again. So the regular season, hard to replicate 50 wins. Pacific Division might be a little bit improved and a little bit harder to achieve that. But come playoff time with the additions they made on the blue line and with Nazem Kadri, I think gives them a better chance and a better team to move further in the playoffs. So they took a strength, their team defense, they're already one of the best in the league, made themselves even better. That's great. That'll be great come playoff times. But it's going to be hard to replace the offense they lost with Goudreau and with Kachuk. I understand Huberto will likely be almost a direct replacement for Johnny Goudreau, but Matthew Kachuk, Craig, is a very unique player. Not only does he score the goals, gets the points, but the energy and the emotion and the engagement and even the defense awareness uh, is going to be tough to replace. Who's going to do that? Is it going to be Tyler Toffoli going to do that? Is it Andrew Maggiapani? I think that might be a big part of Calgary's success or whether they are better come regular season or playoffs is that can someone come close to doing what Matthew Kachuk was doing last year? Yeah, and the way I would describe it, I would use one word to describe Matthew Kachuk, the heartbeat of the team. And he, he was so important in dragging it into the fight. So who do I think that can be? I think it could be Nazem Kadri. Coming off of mm -hmm. a Stanley Cup. Nazem Kadri gives Daryl Sutter now a 1-2-3 up the middle of the ice. You know, Michael Backlund is a terrific third-line center. Kadri, to me, takes pressure off of the player in front of him, Lindholm, the player behind him, Backlund, and he applies tremendous pressure on opponents. I think that's why this team is better going into the playoffs. Because Nazem Kadri is, cares and is focused on one thing, winning making a difference, and I think that he can be that heartbeat player that replaces Matthew Kachuk. Another guy who will help them in the playoffs as well as the regular season. You're right. That one, two, three strength down the middle, that's what they have that is absolutely better. You think of those centermen, you think about the top four defensemen, or really top six they have, and the goaltender. It is rock solid, and with Daryl Sutter at the helm, they can play the style that Daryl Sutter wants them to play very successfully. Another wild card to me, though, is, is the number one centerman. You mentioned that Nazem Kadri can take some pressure off Lindholm because it's going to be hard for him to replicate the kind of season just numbers-wise, but even just chemistry-wise because they were so locked in. No forward line played more five-on-five five than that first line in Calgary, and they were so good together. So can Lindholm be something close to what he was last year with Kachuk and with Gaudreau, with whoever he ends up playing with this year? That will also be a big question mark, but... He won't have to be quite as good because of the addition of Kadri. I'm with you, Craig. I just think you look at this team, top to bottom, they are ready to go exactly how Daryl Sutter would want them to play throughout the regular season, but especially when it comes to the playoffs. And don't forget, if they happen to bump into Edmonton, Nazem Kadri does have a little history playing against the best players of Edmonton and doing a pretty good job of it. So that may be something to watch for if we ever get the Battle of Alberta again. Well, the Battle of Alberta would be lovely. And Jacob Markstrom would love to have a redo on that Battle of Alberta because he had the worst week of his career during that five-game series versus the Edmonton Oilers. Nobody would like to put that behind him more than Jacob Markstrom. So there's a lot to be excited about if you're the Calgary Flames fan. They took a tough situation. It looks like they've made more than just the best of it. They might actually be better than last year.